The TU-100 training unit can be used to demonstrate the refrigeration cycle of domestic refrigerators, freezers, and self-contained air conditioning or heat pumps. It uses R134A and only requires a 120 volt receptacle for operation. There are easy to read, color-coded pressure gauges that are strategically placed on the unit where variations in pressure are likely to occur in different modes of operation. The HP1 through HP4 hand valves are used to change the system from air conditioning operation to heat pump and heat mode operation. When HP1 and HP4 are open, the upper coil functions as the evaporator and can be operated with one of three different metering devices. When HP2 and HP3 are open, the upper coil functions as the condenser. Always start up the training unit with all valves in the closed position. These valves are high quality Mueller diaphragm valves designed to open and close with light turning. The manufacturer recommends only a quarter turn and not to turn against any resistance. The TU-100 trainer is designed with sight glasses at the inlet and the outlet of both the evaporator and the condenser coils. It is also equipped with a receiver which can be isolated from the refrigerant circuit when the capillary tube metering device is used. The liquid line is equipped with a filter dryer and a moisture indicating sight glass. The TU-100 can be operated with one of three metering devices, a capillary tube, an AXV or automatic expansion valve, and a TXV or thermostatic expansion valve. The metering device can be switched by opening or closing the appropriate diaphragm valve. The sight glasses that are located at the inlet and the outlet of both the evaporator and the condenser are made of explosion proof tie bolt design glass. They allow the phases of the refrigerant and the oil to be observed during various modes of operation. In this clip, we can watch as the TXV is changed over to a capillary tube metering device and then switched from a capillary tube back over to a TXV metering device. Following the refrigerant circuit down, we can see the TU-100 is equipped with an accumulator that will prevent liquid slugging of the compressor. A dual high-low pressure cutout is wired in the circuit at all times to prevent damage to the compressor. The TU-100 is also equipped with a digital thermostatic control that has an operating temperature range of minus 30 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Both the evaporator and the condenser fans can be turned on and off by use of a toggle switch. They are also equipped with a variable fan speed control that can be used to adjust the load on the evaporator and condenser or to simulate dirty coils. As you can see, the TU-100 packs numerous capabilities into a single modular design that can be used to train students and technicians alike. It's the perfect fit for any HVACR training program.